welcome. My name is Camille Trotter. For those of you who are new to my channel, this is a fitness tips and tricks channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a very intense full body circuit training workout. If you're new to circuit training, um, circuit training is just a series of exercises done back to back with little rests and it's great for improving strength but also increasing the metabolic rate post exercise. So that is how much you're burning at rest. I'm going to be showing you guys two circuits and both of those circuits are going to be going um, from a speed slash power exercise and a typical resistance training exercise. And this is because I want to both improve my um, strength and endurance and improve my speed and power and just get my heart rate up. I guarantee that if you try this workout, you're going to be pooped and you're definitely going to feel the benefits um, from it, even post, post exercise. If you found this video helpful, please make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button um, so you don't miss out on any future videos and leave any comments, questions, or concerns you have for me in the comments below. All right, let's work. All right, so I am here at the gym ready to get started. Um, I'm actually going to start my workout with a five minute jog on the treadmill um, for my warm up. And a five minute cardio based warm up is important to do before any full body workout just because it gets your body primed for ex the exercises that you're going to be doing um, by getting that increased blood flow to all your muscles. And it kind of just wakes you up. After my jog, I start my stretching routine and um, I'm doing two stretches before this workout. My first stretch, I'm going to take a lacrosse ball to my upper traps because they are very tight on me consistently. To get even more pressure when you're laying down, you can choose to lift up those hips, but if it's too painful, feel free to just let those hips down onto the floor. Once you've found a spot, you can move your arm around to help break up the fascia that's sticking together. And when that side is relaxed, switch sides. The second stretch that I do is for my glute area. Um, as some of you may have known from my first video for my leg day, I have very tight glutes and so it's necessary that I stretch that area out and I just sit on the lacrosse ball and roll over any um, knots that I have there. Once I'm done stretching I am ready for the first circuit. The first circuit has four exercises. The first exercise is a 20 second sprint on a sled treadmill. Um, I like using the sled because you use both your legs and arms, um, but if you do not have a sled available to you, um, you can do these sprints on the treadmill or on a bike. Now if you do use a sled, make sure you aren't just holding the bars, but you're act actively pushing forward. Second exercise of this circuit is the TRX pull up. For this exercise, you should be primarily feeling it in your back, so make sure you squeeze those shoulder blades together. Also, note that my weight is primarily on my heels and my body is in a straight line throughout the movement. third exercise we have is the squat jump with a resistance band around the thighs. This is an explosive exercise, so you want to make sure that you're jumping as high as possible. Do not get lazy with it. You want to note that when I'm landing, I'm resisting my knees from coming in and I'm resisting against that band and pushing my knees out. 
This is going to help you work those outer thighs. Fourth exercise we have, and final one of the first circuit, is the dumbbell press laying down on the floor. Note that while I'm doing this exercise here, my low back is flat on the floor and my legs are up, which is going to help me use my core. To protect those shoulders, make sure your elbows are below uh, your shoulders because you don't want to irritate any ligaments or nerves in your shoulder joint. And with that, it is time to repeat that first circuit at least two more times. You are not done. <laughs> Next circuit has four exercises as well. Um, for the first exercise, we're bringing it back to the good old elementary school days with jump rope. And for this one, it's pretty self-explanatory, but we, you know, we want to bring our heart rate back up and you are going to be doing 100 jumps. The second exercise is the kettlebell swing, and this is a tricky exercise. So you wanna make sure you're paying attention to my form here. You should be feeling this exercise in your hamstrings and glutes, not your lower back. And if you are feeling it in your lower back, then you're likely not touching your forearms to your upper thighs, thus causing you to pull with your arms. It should be the thrust that brings you, um, brings the kettlebell up. Third exercise is for the chest and it is the power push-up. This is an explosive exercise, so it's important that you minimize the amount of time you spend on the floor. And also keep in mind that your shoulders should or your elbows should be bent um, during this exercise to protect your elbows from any um, impact. Last and final exercise is the pulse lunge. My legs are quite um, <laughs> dead at this point, but we're, I'm gonna, still gonna do it. To do this exercise correctly, you wanna make sure that at the bottom of the movement, both your front and back leg are bent at a 90 degree angle. Also, your back should not lean forward, but it should be right on top of those hips. So now, depending on how much energy you have left, you wanna repeat this um, circuit at least one time, if possible, twice more. And with that, you are all done with your killer full body circuit training workout. All right, so if you guys found this video helpful, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos, and leave any comments you have for me in the comments below. And I will catch you next time.